The functioning of the human body is very complex. Our immune system protects the body against intruders, such as bacteria and viruses. The skin is an important protection device of the body against intruders. The protection by the skin can be broken, for example, by a splinter. This way, bacteria are able to intrude in our body. These bacteria are regarded as non-self substances. Our immune system will try to destroy these non-self cells. We call this an inflammatory response. We will now show you what the process of such an inflammatory response is. In our immune system, many cells play a part, among which white blood cells. An important white blood cell is the macrophage. The macrophage recognizes the bacterium as a non-self substance and engulfs it. The bacterium is slowly destroyed in the macrophage until only very small pieces are left. These little pieces of bacterium are made visible on the outside by the macrophage. This way, the other cells of the immune system are able to notice that a bacterium has entered the body. Apart from that, something else is happening. Since the macrophage engulfs the bacterium, it creates inflammatory substances. These substances are called cytokines. Cytokines bind themselves to receptors on cells. Cytokines exactly fit the shape of such a receptor, like a key in a keyhole. In this manner, the cytokine communicates to another cell. For example, a cytokine is able to warn a macrophage, from the position of another macrophage, that bacteria are near that have to be destroyed. This is an important step in the inflammatory response. At the point of the inflammation, the amount of macrophages then increases in order to destroy the bacteria. The macrophages are, however, not able to destroy all bacteria. The macrophages, therefore, go to the lymph nodes in our body in order to warn other cells of the immune system that an inflammatory response is taking place. These lymph nodes are important with regard to the defense of the body. Lymph nodes are information centers where cells of the immune system meet in order to exchange information. The macrophages that have engulfed bacteria at the point of the inflammation come into contact with T cells in the lymph nodes. B cells are also present there. Both are white blood cells that play an important part in the inflammatory process. T cells recognize the bacterium pieces on the outside of the macrophage. The T cells bind themselves to those pieces of bacterium on the macrophage, and they become active. The B cells also become active. After this activation, the T cells and B cells divide until a large quantity of these cells has come into being. The T cells and B cells go to the spot of the inflammation. At the spot of the inflammation, the T cells help the other inflammatory cells to attack the bacteria as effectively as possible. This way, they help the macrophages to make more cytokines, which are the inflammatory substances. And they attack bacteria in order to destroy them. As soon as all bacteria have been destroyed, the inflammatory response ceases. In case of an autoimmune disease, the self cells and components are being attacked instead of non-self cells. The exact cause of this is unknown. In this situation, the macrophages also make cytokines. The inflammatory response that accordingly follows against the self cells is about equal to the response against the non-self cells, such as bacteria. So, in case of an autoimmune disease, the self cells are being attacked and damaged. There are many self cells that are being created over and over again. Because of this, the inflammation does not stop, but it continues. This is what we call a chronic inflammatory response. At the spot of the chronic inflammation, many cytokines, macrophages, T cells and B cells are present. The joint activity of these cells and substances causes damage to our body at the location of the inflammation.